Well, hello everyone! Welcome! Against all odds, it is yet another week of Elden Ring DLC. The longest DLC I've ever encountered. I don't think any of us knew what we were getting into. Not that I mind, but goodness, this is large. It is... From the look of things now, basically... An extra 50% added on to Elden Ring. And a very good 50%, too. Just incredible. We have a whole new branch of the map we now have access to, which I'm excited about. It's a little stretch up here, whatever all this is, and then more to look forward to, which he'll be really happy about. He's been very patient over there. And then that'll probably be it, because I I literally can't see anywhere else on this map that I have not already scoured fairly thoroughly <laughs> over the past months. Once we've explored all this, it might finally be time to go to the top of the keep. But not today. Today we explore! These beautiful flowery fields. See, this is just pleasant. I feel like I just walked out of Midgar and I'm about to go traipsing off on a brand new adventure. Chasing Sephiroth to the ends of the earth. Where are we? Hinterland. So that just sounds nice. How hintery are we talking? Okay, all right. Mounted rider over there. No reason we needed to panic about it, but I do see a mounted knight. Let's look up here first. Um. Regular sized bear. Acceptable. It being so pretty up here does make me think it is actually going to be quite vicious. <laughs> I don't know why I have that suspicion, but this late into the expansion coming across an area that just looks like a pleasant flowery meadow. Suggests to me that they are trying to make me relax. And I will do no such thing. Even though it is so far mostly flowers and small bears and that one night very far off who, for all we know, might be very nice. Shouldn't just jump to conclusions. Alright, noticing more red tint on the bear fur, which is also fine. We've encountered this. Not a problem. Unless they decide to be... Bear, I fought much larger than you. I think you should maybe let this go. I'm doing you a favor. I have fought, and will fight again, much larger and scarier things than you. Heck, I might do it today. see down there. There does seem to be a floor to it, kind of. So, eh, it's hard to tell. A little far to jump. That I can say with certainty. Don't need my rainbow stones for that one. Not that I would use rainbow stones anyway. 
Uh huh. Okay, that's a tree sentinel. Wow. Been a bit, huh? Yeah. Okay. This is honestly nostalgic. The holy damage isn't probably going to be exceptionally good. Sword Lance might actually be a better bet. Little pokes. And then perhaps nonsense. <laughs> that didn't do very much. Felt good, though. Yeah, this is doable, I think. A little hectic on the camera, perhaps, but doable. Reach could be better. Should really stop. Missing my opportunities for the visceral attack. Hey! Where were you on that one, shield? I was holding the button. You're having a hard time hitting me down here. I'm grateful. There we go. Good, good. Fine start. Blessing of America. Which we have gotten before, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we have to have, because that just went right to storage. <laughs> well. Good note to start things out on. Wasn't the only tree sentinel out here, though. Is it just... <laughs> a string... of the same mini-boss... fight... for a little while? There's at least one more. Glad I didn't accidentally pull both of them. So... okay. Okay. I feel like there had to be more up there. Might ride through there one more time once I'm done up here. It's so pretty, though. Ah, the Shaman Village. So folks in comments... ...mentioned the Shamans have come up before... ...to some degree. I don't think they've been getting a lot of mentions. Which is why I'd kind of forgotten them over time. But, uh... I guess they'd come up in Bonnie Village. Where we got that Oh Mother gesture that got us in here. It's too pretty. I feel very nervous. Um... Minor Erd Tree. Very minor. <laughs> it's so small. Oh, an incantation. Continuously heals allies in the area. Secret incantation of Queen Merica. Only the kindness of gold without order. Creates a small, illusory Erd Tree that continuously restores the HP of nearby allies. Merica bathed the village of her home in gold, knowing full well that there was no one to heal. Interesting. This is very interesting all of a sudden.
Hello, hello. Golden Braid. A talisman, I think. A braid of golden hair cut loose. Queen Merica's offering to the Grandmother. Boosts holy damage negation by the utmost. What was her prayer? Her wish? Her confession? There's no one left to answer, and Merica never returned home again. I would not have thought that Merica was from here. That is very interesting. Quite a twist. What is that shape? in the kind of negative space of the uh, tree here. It's kind of spectral looking. Might just be kind of nothing, just part of the shape. It just almost looked like a weird figure for a second there. I don't think so. This is suddenly fascinating, though. I am so curious what we're going to find up here now, or what more we'll find up here. Because that detail definitely provides some interesting context for everything we've encountered out here so far. The Golden Order army that Mesmer led out here on a crusade. Which seemed just like expansionist empire kind of thing. But having an added angle of history here with America originating from this place. Adds a fun little wrinkle to it. Raises more questions. Um. Might be a little more up here. Maybe? Well, more good views, I guess. Careful! I might be wrong, I still feel like there might be one more thing of interest over there. Could be incorrect. There's clearly a different angle going on with this little part of the zone. It's much more narrative than, like, challenge design so far. I could see them leaving kind of the space empty just to preserve that serenity while you are Encountering new information. Make this place feel less like the battlefield every other place kind of feels like.
Not that the bears aren't trying. Oh, they're trying. But yeah, it might just be nice views, bears, and... <laughs> Not a whole lot else up here for the time being. All right, bears, I'm going. Carry on with your bear business. Just wanted to be sure. And there's nowhere to start, like, jumping down, right? Bear, come on. Let it go. Yeah, I'm not seeing jumps. Okay, let's press on, get in a fight with another tree sentinel. See what more we can learn. Hello. Oh, okay, now you are. I was wondering if you were going to get a health bar down there or not. The other guy got one. It would be really unfair if you didn't. Excuse me. Hey, y'all are not nearly the threat you once were. We've come so far. Uh, not really sure where to attack you when that happens. Try more jumping attacks. Don't steal my idea. Ow. Goodness. How did that hit me? Nonsense. Okay, that one I understand. The ones with a shield are a little bit more of a handful. Come on now. Goodness. Come on. Hey! That doesn't seem like that should be getting around my shield. Come on. Almost. Here we go. Let's just do this for fun. How did that not finish you? There. And another. I appreciate it. Uh, I am out of healing now, though. Let's, um... <laughs> bounce back to the Grace Fire. Get a level. Okay. Okay. 
Up goes the strength. No regrets, hopefully. And yeah, okay. I figured there are bosses there. There's no way they're going to respawn, hopefully. But all right, what else is out here? A third tree sentinel, maybe? I assume they'd be out here tasked with guarding this place. For sentimental reasons, if nothing else. But okay, a little bit less... bright, shiny, and happy the further we go in this direction. Fewer flowers. Only slightly gloomier, though. But it is going to start turning into this the further we go. Hooray, hooray. What's this way? Turtle. Jumps. Oh. Could have just jumped down here from the village if we wanted to skip <laughs> one of the sentinel fights, I guess. Though honestly, this seems more dangerous. Or at least equally so. Big tree. No, go away. It's not been too bad out here so far, but... The further I get toward the end of this path, the worse I expect things to get very quickly. I think that's already kind of about to happen up here, if I'm honest. Um. <laughs> Not sure what that was. Not seeing any caves or anything hidden. A lot of bugs. Including one extra large bug. Yeah, a lot of bugs of varying size. Eh. Come here. Why are the dragonflies getting so big? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> eh. 
And what is going on over the... Oh! Another meteor impact site? Wonder what's going to attack us from there. Man, what a pretty game. Leave me alone. Shoo. All right, let's just go ahead and rip off this band-aid now. What do we got? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Falling star beast. So, okay. Been a little bit since we fought one of you. Haven't really encountered any of your kind down here. Ow. Yow, she's... Gonna have to do better than that. Yeah, that won't do it all. Um... Probably the hammer. Probably not you. I mean, maybe you'd be fine. Not sure what would be strongest against that thing, actually. Yeah, we can give you a try. See how you do. Gotta give you a chance against something. Okay. You're gonna run off this off. I'm gonna cast stuff at you. Ooh. Didn't know I could kind of like stagger you by doing that. That's cool. The lightning does pretty good, honestly. Very good. Get in there quick. There we go. Not my best damage, but I'll take it. Ah. Took a little longer than I thought. How'd that miss? Bonk, I say. Ow. Thanks for being a distraction over there. Ouch. Rolled a little early there. It's got more of a spiky tail than I remember. Did it, it always do like bleed effects like that? Not what I meant to do. Wrong spell. Let's just keep casting. Finish this thing. Bye. So weird meeting one of those randomly out here. Gravitational missile, though. Sorcery. One of the glintstone sorceries that manipulates gravitational forces. Fires a gravitational projectile that pulls in enemies before finally exploding. Charging extends reach of projectile and number of inward pulls. Said to have originated in the lightless dark far beyond, the home of the falling star beasts. That's probably a real fun one, as gravity magic goes. Certainly not for this character, but... Seems like a fun one.
What a random seeming spot to find one, though. I'm hoping for some big revelation from this. Because we found two of these so far, and I still... Eh, right. A roving pack of them. <laughs> the worst. Because, yeah, we found the first one, and that was haunting, to be sure. But mostly just creepy vibes. I don't feel like we learned a ton. And then we found another hidden underneath. Uh, Manus met her, which... I still feel like I'm owed an explanation for. We're heading down toward the last one, though, I think. Okay. Okay. I'm near a great spire, man. I'm on base. You should know better. Get out of here. You suck. If we're going to be dealing with a lot of those, and we are, there's a better sword for this. Um, offhand, sure. Yeah, this sword will solve this problem. Reasonably well. Wait, what is this place called? Fingerstone Hill. Well, it fits. And these are the Lamprey men, yes? The ones we were finding at the other spot? I'm just going to assume yes. Yep. All coiled up and having naps, and I'm fine with that. Live and let live, I say. That's so many. That's so dangerous. <laughs> Alerting that pack seems like... A great way to get into a lot of trouble. The big ones are trouble enough. That many little ones, even without the big ones, could still be a problem. And mingled together? No thank you. It is very funny, though. Roving packs of little hand monsters. Hmm. Do gotta make sure there's not, like, a cave or anything. I don't see one. Just trying to be thorough without drawing the ire of... 50 hand monsters at one time. Healthcare professionals advise against doing so. Okay, it's getting... much more... atmospheric down here, let's say. In a troubling way.
Okay. Is this anything up here? Go away. Okay, lighter coloration on this one. And I don't care for it. It's worse now. It was bad already. Now it's worse. Um. What's going on? The two fingers, as opposed. Ah. Oh, and another one of these things. Die. Fine. That's right. Buzz off. Boy, you do so much damage with this thing. <laughs> It's already a massive hit, but boy, if it's weak to fire... Bonkers numbers. If you insist. We got so many options, man. Even just DLC alone, we got seven here already. That we could double up on. Choosing is going to be a challenge. Yep. I don't like them being pink. I do not approve. Also don't approve of that little trap that they just tried to lay. Oh yeah, they're everywhere. I really lucked out on my approach. Gonna have to watch my step. There wasn't a boss fight at the other two um, locations like this. I feel like we're in for a nasty one this time. The Finger Ruins of Dale. Well, let's start making our way toward the center. We got another bell to ring. Ah, uh, okay. That's a long range thing. Oh, goodness. It's all so bad. Hate. 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 And you. Not feeling super thrilled with you right now. No. Man. <laughs> Spawning in out of nowhere. I do have to commend your tactics. <laughs> that does feel very satisfying to dodge. At such range. <laughs> it's 
take a bit of cover. And top off as long as we're getting refills so frequently. Hmm. Yeah, I got spells too. Shut up. I wonder how they deal with frisbees. Catch! Could be more damage per hit, but it's working. Still so eerie out here. Just like the last one. And I'm not seeing a huge boss yet. Gonna check the perimeter first before interacting with that thing, just to make sure. There isn't something super interesting around that I want. Nope. Gross. Stop being awful. Quite a lot of them around. But they don't really have to be my problem for the most part. If I don't see something of interest. And from here, I don't. Just looks like more finger ruins, so let's, uh... Just see what kind of trouble this gets us into. Sound the hanging bell. Huh. That makes sense. A cerulean colored talisman patterned after an Erd Tree seed greatly boosts FP restoration from the Flask of Cerulean Tears. The Erd Tree seed of this talisman was presumed to be an object of myth. This age old artifact also depicts the two fingers, perhaps harking back to the birth of the Erd Tree. Maybe now. Maybe now. Ymir will give us a little bit more of an explanation. I'm going to do a really quick ride around this outer edge. I expect nothing to be back there. There wasn't on the last one. But I can at least do that. I don't have to scan every square foot of this location, but I should at least check back here behind the wall. If I can get behind the wall. Oh, maybe you can't this time. Huh. I'll check the other side. Or look for a gap. I guess they're kind of guarding the gap, aren't they? Eh. Yeah. Might not even be a gap. Nah. Hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of them, but... Yep, 
Yep. No getting behind it. Okay. Honestly, kind of a relief. Let's contend with you, and then... Get on with our lives. Elsewhere. Not here. We have someone to catch up with. Hello, hello. How are we all doing? I told you once, I've no interest in companionship, but I must admit, Count Emir did seem very pleased. Perhaps an exception is in order. Think about it. I would much prefer that to enemies. Emir is a shining star, in our eyes. The only star upon the black canvas of the night. Our meeting with the Count taught us of the star-draped sky. We know that we cannot reach out to touch it, but we can peer up at its brilliance and heed its guidance. We will never again lose our way in the night. Y'all are interesting. I have spoken far too freely. Pay me no mind. Let us focus on our shared purpose. Our service to Count Emir. Right, yes, that is always the first priority on my mind as well. Glad we are on the same page. So, noticing a lot of bloodstains around. Care to explain? There's a lot of things you could explain. Pick one. <laughs> Hello there. Hello. I heard another sound, colored by your essence. <laughs> Simply exhilarating, I must say. The stars are dark tonight. But rest assured, this is no ill omen. On the contrary, I believe that this portends a magnificent starry cascade. Now, take this. My final gift to you. May you join the glimmering stars above. Not loving... the words you're choosing. Thanks for the map. I've... I've seen it. I'm aware. A simple old map, faded and dirty, acquired from County Mir, High Priest, indicates a third and final hallowed ruin, distinct from those shown on the first two maps. May you join the glimmering stars above. Well... You want to move? There's only one way down there that I'm aware of. Oh, yes. I believe I can feel it brewing. This evening is a sign of a greater night to come. It's all sounding very ominous, and I feel like you're doing this on purpose. Was this here last time? A finger sorcery of Count Emir, High Priest, one of the secret hallowed rites, conjures an image of a microcosm at a foe's feet that pulses with a single wave, before disappearing in a burst. Charging enhances potency. The broken and discarded are fully willing to cling to fleeting simulacra, earning them some modicum of sympathy. Huh. Neat. Um, pretty sure that one's new. I got a lot of runes, I'll take it. Can't use it, but, you know. Appreciate it. And I think you already told me this, but if you have more, by all means. Do you recall what I said? That Marika and the fingers that guided her were unsound from the start. Right. Well, the truth lies deeper still. It is their mother who is damaged and unhinged. The fingers are but unripe children. Victims in their own right. We all need a mother, do we not? A new mother. A true mother who will not give birth to further malady. You're, uh, you're losing me. May you join the glimmering stars above. I'm good. Um. Oh, yes. This evening is... Right. Okay. You join well, I'm gonna go sit for a moment. And you've mentioned night a few times. I don't know if I need to pass time until then. But if nothing changes, I might try that next. 
Because, yeah, it's still daytime. So I've rested. And... Oh. Well. You have moved. Now. Be on your way. Fine. Forgive me. I failed you. Failed to birth you whole. But it won't be long now. I will soon be a mother. I will give you new life. I assure you. You will have life. Not sure I love the sound of anything happening out here, but, um, all good. Please, will you allow the two of us this time alone? It isn't much to ask. I will so gladly do that. All right. Well, I know where we're headed next, but, um, let's do that starting tomorrow. Because... I'll be honest, I have zero idea what's going to happen down there this time now that I've actually been given permission. Weirdly, that's more unnerving. Well, we'll find out tomorrow, won't we? Take it easy, y'all. I'll see you tomorrow for whatever lies beneath the throne. Well, this time we've seen... You know what I mean. Bye!